Hey there, I'm Nick. My cousin just asked me to read a poem at her wedding. The poem, To My Dear and Loving Husband, by Anne Bradstreet, is on this clipboard. I sure hope I can read it right. Let's take a look and see if we can figure out how I can get across the meaning or theme as I read. First, let's look at the poetic structure. Poetic structure is the organization of lines and the patterns of sound in a poem. That will help me know when to take a breath and when to stress a word or phrase. Let's listen to the first two lines of the poem. If ever two were one, then surely we. If ever man were loved by wife, then thee. Can you hear the rhymes? Rhymes connect one line to another. Another way the lines are connected is by meter. Meter is the arrangement of words in poetry based on rhythm, accents, and the number of syllables in a line. I like to think of it as the drumbeat of the line. Let's see if I can get the rhythm right as I read a few more lines. If ever wife was happy in a man, Compare with me, ye women, if you can. Now I know how to deal with the rhythm in this thing. If ever two were one, then surely we. If ever man were loved by wife, then thee. If ever wife was happy in a man, compare with me. Ye woman, if you can. But there's more to a poem than structure, just like there's more to a song than a great beat. The structure of a poem is a container for its meaning. The meaning is the reason for the poem. How can I find the meaning? One way poets convey meaning is through imagery. Imagery is language that creates a mental picture. The imagery in this poem helps me create a mental picture of what the narrator is saying about love. Listen to how she compares her love to a gold mine. I prize thy love more than whole mines of gold, or all the riches that the East doth hold. Wow! Now I know how to read this poem. I'm gonna go all out. I'll begin with getting rhyme and meter down. That will help people hear the words. I'll hit hard on the images so people can picture the couple's love. Speaking of love, they're gonna love me.